Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this short video we're going to cover making an interactive town map with shops using Monk's Active Tile Triggers. So this is a town map for my Farhaven game. As it is a hub town, I'm willing to do a bit more work on this and it, as it will get reused for multiple sessions, so I've made it more interactive for my players. The key modules that we are using for this tutorial are Monk's Active Tile Triggers and Monk's Enhanced Journal, links in the description below. I will also link some template files in the links below for the town. So Monk's Active Tile Triggers allows for automation to happen when tiles in the scene are interacted with. When a token enters the space of one of the shops, a sound will play and the shop inventory will open so the player can make purchases. So the first step is we have to go over to the General Entries tab. And in here I have created, in this case, an arcane shop. And when I created it, I selected the Enhanced Journal type of shop. I have then populated the shop with items I wanted to set up and the artwork I wanted to use. I've also set who the shop owner is. Next in the scene, when I go down to the tiles tab, I've added an artwork tile and after double clicking on the tile, I can get to the settings for that tile. What we will see is there is a new section in here called triggers. That's coming from Monk's tiles and I have uh, ticked it as active. It's set to allow for all tokens currently, but this could be set for only player tokens, etc. depending on what you need. You can also set who they are controlled by. And the key one is when does this trigger happen? And in this case, I've done on, on enter. There are many options within here. This could be uh, on a double click, on a hover, on many other possibilities. So this is your active trigger. And then your main thing down here is the key things is what actions is that trigger going to take at the end of that? So in this case, I have done it that it is uh, opening a journal entry and that has been uh, linked through directly to the arcane shop. And I've also told it to play the sound file once as a, uh, as a trigger as well. Once that is all done, I then hit the update tile. And then after that, uh, I can go back to the actors tab now with the token selected, I can then move them into the space of the shop. And the sound file played and the shop inventory opened. I've then set up on the map um, multiples of these around the outside edge of the, uh, of the town for obviously different uh, adventuring gear or for general stores, etc. I think this is quite a nice way of making an interactive town. And really, this video is only sort of scratching the surface of what Monk styles will allow you to uh, automate in different ways. But uh, yeah, I hope it at least gives you an idea of how powerful as a tool this could be for, for your game. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content.